Oh, look at that. I mean, seriously, the amount of details in this opening part is pretty awesome. You got the eye twitching. You got the fingers twitching. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's start our first game of Scorn, shall we? Imagine being in that guy's shoes. Lipless. So for those who don't know, this game has no verbal story. It is just visual. I don't think they'll be adding any vocals. I don't personally think it needs it. I think it tells a, a, a really good story as it is. I really like the ambience of this already. There's a slight haze there to the light. Nice and dark surrounding the door. That's pretty cool. I like that. You don't want to see too much. You want to kind of focus on particular things. God, check that out. How amazing is all of this? The light definitely adds to the ambience of this game. It really does. Okay, so it looks like we, we have a door in front of us and we've got a corridor down here. Let's check out the corridor first, I think. Ah, oh, check that out. That's gruesome. I love it. <laughs> Okay, so it seems to go a bit farther up. Can I... Am I, am I not able to get into there yet? I don't think we are. We might have to wait until all those lights are lit up before we can do anything. That's kind of what I'm guessing. So let's uh, let's go this way. Wow, it's a big area. Opens right up. Oh, this just looks amazing. So it looks like we got a crane over there. See, this is like right up my alley. I, I kind of love this kind of stuff. The level to detail in this room is absolutely phenomenal. You've got the shadows there. Can we go into here? No, we can't go in there just yet either. But everything about this place is... It's kind of... It's kind of like it's dead, but it's alive at the same time. It's, it's really weird. Squeeze through here. Oh, shit, can't open anymore. Okay, let's go through. This guy's torso looks really strange. Can I, can... That looks weird. It's kind of like... Kind of like the, the organs are popping out of his chest. Looks really strange.
Go, 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 go. Ooh, that was fairly close. Just managed to make that. Nice. This whole place is basically a blend of uh, flesh and biomachinery. That's the whole um, aesthetic of the game. And that's kind of like how it's meant to meant to look. They they did go with a very very uh, specific look in mind. So we've got a crane. We've got a chair which we can move. We can do something with that. I think that's for the crane. Maybe. Or it could be for the chair. It's hard to tell. We'll, we'll figure that bit out in a moment. Kind of want to... Kind of want to go up here first. So we've got this here. So I'm kind of guessing that that triggers that. What we're going to find out about now. Okay, this looks uh, a little bit disorientating, honestly. You see those little white dots there? What can we do with these? We can move to those, right? Yeah, yeah. But what can we do with them? Ah, oh, okay. Can change direction. Yeah, let's just keep it at that for now. Uh, I have no idea what I just done. I think that might be tracks of some kind. Think. Oh, maybe it's meant to go there, that chair. Maybe we can't do anything just yet. That is a possibility. So it looks like we got two contraptions here. They meet in this section. Is that where that chair is meant to sit? Is that meant to sit there? Okay, so we can't do anything with that. What about this one? Right. I think we need something there to keep the mechanism open. Uh, you know, the locking mechanism open. Looks like that goes that way once something's locked in there. And it looks like we have an ice cream scoop. Vanilla truck ice, anybody? <laughs> oh, no way, look at that. Those kind of look like... Comes from there, right? I'm just basically trying to figure out what, sh what each of these do at the moment. So at least then when it comes to it, I can put them together. I'm not going to lie though, these contraptions are very mesmerizing. The way they move, it's just so organic. This kind of looks like an elevator shaft to me, so we'll come back here later. Kind of thinking this goes back to the main foyer. Yeah, yeah. So 
So where does this one go then? Oh, we've got another penis. Oh, let's go to this penis. Let's see what this one does. Or is this in case we miss the other one, we get to do it again? We couldn't miss the other one anyway because we wouldn't be able to progress without it. What's happened here? Can I can I crouch? I want to see its face. I don't think you can crouch. Oh, check that out! It's got a scar on its skull. Looks like it was cowering from something, but but what? But all those corpses, though. It's the one thing we haven't done yet. Doesn't look like we can do anything with that. But, uh, kind of hoping to get past it. Oh, hang on. Are these things that are meant to go into that thing back there? Maybe there's a, a control here somewhere. Not gonna lie, the shadow of the uh, protagonist here looks a little bit weird. You know, out of, out of all the things that they've worked on and looks absolutely amazing, that is the one thing that looks a little bit weird at this point. Oh. Did I not see that last time? Obviously not. Must have missed it. So we've got that machine and that one. From what I've seen, that one like controls like a crane of sorts. Ah, there we go. So that will control that maybe. Let's try you. Let's see what you do. Nice. Is it missing something? Do we have to go up another level? Let's see what this is. So we can go left right and down oh we got ones there that have lights on them
Please work. Please work. Yes! Oh, check that out. Oh, this looks epic. Okay, so that automatically goes down. That's good. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can hear it. You can hear it moving around and stuff, man. So what was the, the purpose of these things? That's freaky. Uh-uh. Nah, fuck that. Okay. Not nice. It's kind of what I was thinking would happen here. Dude. What the fuck was that? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. I think this is the right way to go. I'm just kind of testing things out to see how it works. Oh, okay, okay. We. Okay, so we're putting him in there. I'm kind of afraid to do the next thing, to be honest, because I. I kind of think we have to scoop him out. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> but I know we've got to. I'm sorry, fella. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've got an army. 
Um, was I was I meant to have done that? I don't know. I don't know anymore. think kind of think I might need another arm I've just realized yep 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 where's where's the penis was it down here I think it was down here Stick his hand in there now. Ta da! Okay. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, that looks painful. Okay. Now. Nice. So I like the exploration aspect of it and, and the fact that so far it's just take your time. There's no rush. You're not what? in any form of uh, so got another one of those contractions right like there and the same on that side and right in front It's a massive elevator. Sweet. That seriously does have to hurt, though. Okay, so we can't go that way. Guy's arm just moved. <gasps> Dude, check out his face. Freaky. But why all the bodies, man? This actually reminds me of um, of aliens, you know, with the little pods. Okay, that looks like there was a pod of sorts, like one of those things. I don't like it when you're kind of like forced into in the middle of something.
So we've got an observer room. I think that's where we were looking through earlier. That's cool. So how many of you lovely people would love to have a remote control um, flying contraption, I, I guess you'd call it? UAV, like that. Because I know I would. The hell? I mean, to be able to pick things up like that, that'd be pretty awesome. That'd be pretty neat. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love the fact that it doesn't tell you how to work all these things. You just got to figure it out. It just kind of gave me the uh, the vision of like putting your fingers in somebody's eye sockets and stuff. That's kind of like the feeling it gives me. So after about 15 to 20 minutes trying to solve that last puzzle and getting absolutely nowhere, I decided to call the stream there uh, because I was running out of time. If you want to see the next one, head on over to Twitch, follow me there, link in the description below.